Ironic that it was the guy that opened the door. Guys must been uh, rudely interrupted. Well, I mean, that's uh, that's what I found interesting is the first one that opened the door um, wasn't the one that got hit. Like, I was standing two spots away and he couldn't get through the door. We're gonna silk step. We're gonna get him over here. A gorgon. Shimmering fluidly, its silent slithering approach fascinates the mind as it haunts the heart. Then we got a row one. Oh, so that's a Gorgon. That thing's pretty huge. Um, <laughs> Get right. I feel like he's... <laughs> with the way that he's holding the book, it looks like he smacked him with the book, not the mace. I mean, I guess, you know, it's a blunt weapon. Sure. Oh no, plus corruption. I, I should have thought about that. Is there anything fun over here? Three damage, one to three damage. One to three damage. One magic damage. And now he's blinded. Good. There we go. I'm glad he still got experience even though he ran away. He actually got eight. Interesting. Snake stone pauldrons. Horn and leather to keep your foes away, plus five percent or plus five dodge. Um We're gonna put it on Doctor. He's actually got less dodge than the rest of them. Um, naturalist, plant, active, vine wrench, tree, passive. Upon infusing with a tree, enter gray plane. Oh, that's really nice. Um, but only used whenever there's trees involved. Endurance. Nikhil has plus two armor and plus warning. He's, let's see here, Tinker. Once for combat as a swift action, the hill gains three armor and two warding to himself or nearby ally for two turns. Oh, there's an upgrade to Mythweaver, though. 
Lore Dump, plus two damage, plus three range. Greater Constrict, plus one damage, plus one hobble. Lightning Learning, a book slash statue active as a swift action. Destroy a book or statue to grant ally or self plus three potency that decays over three turns. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade his Myth Weaver. Because before, statues didn't do anything but give me vision and a stat boost. Now they can do damage. That could have gone worse. Yes, but... Nothing is beyond us. I think we've proven that. The hulking carcass steams from its many wounds. Hideous convulsions force along its appendages to the extremities of its body. Then... Uh, Tendril going crazy. And it swipes! No! The thing's tremendous tail flicks across the barn. It plucks up Maltara like she's a straw doll. Her weapon's falling uselessly from her hands as it pulls her in. Tragedy. Maltara, don't panic! A voice leaks from Maltara's mouth. It's a wrong voice, weird and discordant. Like someone fretting and plucking a fiddle who's never picked one up. Still yourselves, bone stacks. This one speaks my words. I can make it die. You are not alike, uh, alike to us. Weak lungs and small minds. Stacks of splintering bones. Thin blood that will readily betray you. Why well for your lives so noisy it doesn't have to be this way we'll grant your life to for hers but that's terrible doctor that's terrible you think it fell for life as you do i am gorgon the master ulstrix has promised us silence the boy the voice dissolves into sounds like rain or distant waves wriggling grips tighten a tentacle invades maltera's ear of course it does Stop! Estello leaps forward, lifting a nearby pitchfork and hurling it with thunderous force. Stop, I said. Oh, oh. And it gets him. The teens of the fork sink into the beast's neck. Malterra falls free of its tendrils. Grah. As Nikhil and Doctor rush over to make certain of the Gorgon's demise, Estello supports Maltara helping her to stand. You're here, Maltera. You're all right. A strange, stony affliction spreads from Maltera's ear. Maltara? This isn't over. I saw it's mine. The stone was in its claws. Maltara takes the stone from Akil's palm, turning it from her eye, catching slender sunbeams that slice the barn wall. The strange... Polyhedral stone is slick with Gorgon blood. Epicrist. Each face is graven with an intricate image. The word in the Gorgon's head was Epicrist. This town, Talaroth Dam, these petrified people, even this monster, eddies and swells for telling a ferocious tide. The Epicrist glistens, sticky and blue. The Gorgons have a master. Ulustrix, it's called. It's looking for something, some myth or secret. I think the riddle is in the stone. I think we have to find out what Ulstrix wants and make sure he doesn't get it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, because she's... Because she's been slightly taken over, her charisma has dropped. And she gained plus 35 to loner. Ooh. Man, I'm really enjoying this game. But Esteldo is going to last forever. He's got a plus 10 to retirement age. Ten years of peace follow. So that was chapter one complete. Dude, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Talk to you, you bet, you bet. So, save tiles, eight, towns, one, infested tiles, remaining zero, 
Lurking threats remaining zero. So we got some good things out of that. Oh, the row extra armor got taken off. Your victory has undermined the enemy's plans. They've been weakened. Just take away that geist. You should have just taken away the geist. During the years of peace, the 10 years of peace that we got. Oh, interesting. The Gorgon's Mark grew and crusted over to cover one side of Malterra's face. It would be a grim reminder of the encounter that day in the Talroth Dam barn. So she's got one arm and half a face right now. Dang. <laughs> Aseldo's little crag eagle hatched safely and grew large. Look at that guy. It tended to bring him gifts from near and far. Eventually, he released it to the wild. It soared free among the rocks, hills, and peaks. So it gave plus one of every resource. Doctor added a new addition in onto his house. It served as a haven of hospitality to travelers passing through. What was it? Nikhil finally translated the Five Circles of the Wind, a story about monks who could send messages through the clouds. Okay, so we can we can do gear upgrades now. Which we are low on ingots. Dad a nabbit. We could have got that artifact here too on that one. Okay, well let's let's look at some of the other things here. We don't want to give him a great sword now. Because he's got an offhand book, so we don't want to do that. Absolutely, Kit Real, I'm having fun. Oh, you think we can use legacy points? You know, technically, technically, we should have gave... If we were min-maxing, we should have gave that to Nikhil. It would have gave him one more infusion. But I, th I like this better. More character. Okay, so let's just give him a better... A better mace. I'm gonna make sure that's what I'm giving him first. Okay, yeah, I'm giving him a better mace. Wait. Hold on a second. The spoon is a wand? That's funny. There's also staffs. Oh, that was our choice. I, d I didn't even think about that. Okay, so... Dude, she's a character. Her left side is messed up. <laughs> Get real. <laughs> I guess you could say she's all right. That's crazy, dude. You got me with that one. You got me. Okay, so. We could give this guy a shield. Wait, what's this do? Uh, warning must be for like magic? A, a throwing net could be good. If something's running at him, he can throw a throwing net on it.
Okay, I'm gonna upgrade her weapon. Oh. I don't actually... Oh, and what about armor? Minus one armor, but gives dodge. Huh, I wonder why she's getting a discount of three. Is that normal? The, the shields are all the same. I thought they were different. Um. Okay, so the pike is two-handed. Let's... I know this is goofy. You know what? Let's give him a normal... Normal wand. And a shield. Can we name the one, Tim? I should have thought about that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I usually, uh, we can, we should name the uh, artifact weapons though, for real. Let's, man, I'm going to go ahead and give her a better bow. Can I go ahead and... I'm just going to make her a ridiculous powerhouse, because here's the thing. She's got a loner plus 35 stat. And which means that I might be sending her solo to do things. Maybe. Ooh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just save that LP. Okay, let's go. Doctor volunteered his free days to deciphering the Epicris. If this is true, it hasn't gone smoothly and progress has mostly drip dripped along. The meaning of the weird stone have remained inscrutable for years. But today, something in his research slides into place. Could it mean? And he can now guess that their enemies, where their enemies might be. It explains why we've had a few years of relative peace. Do you see what I mean? Here, imagine you're trying to raise an army. What's the first thing you do? Malterra just looks so angry. Uh, raise an army? Right, an army. Out of just normal folks. I suppose I'd come up with the right... I'd have to come up with the right words as speech. Words have incredible, sometimes awful power. A symbol. You'd want a symbol to rally support, wouldn't you? Especially if your people are ancients and set in their ways. So you're saying our our Ulstrix, our master of Gorgons, needs his this thing? What is it? Some kind of divine spear as a symbol to help convince the other Gorgons to follow? Yeah, that's what I believe. Are we are we telling her what she needs to do? Like is she a spy? Look at that look on her face. I don't, man, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust her. And why does it need to do that? Why does it need the spear? Or why does it need the support of others like it? What is Ulstrick? All interesting questions. What I know is what I learned from the stone and our meager archive. 
I was able to find other records of Epicris rubbings. That was my first clue. And Epicris is like an ancient storytelling device. A way for telling a time-honored myth, but maybe in a different order or fashion. That's what I think. And, but, anyway, sorry, I'm getting swept up. I checked the story elements here against some of our older legends. You know what the, you know that tall tale kind of a poem or a song in some places? Queen of the Seas? No, but get to the point. Our stone tells almost the same story. Almost. And according to our version, the spear was laid to rest in the named ca cavern. It's on one of our maps. So that gives us an advantage, right? We know where it is. But they've got a pretty big head start, so... I don't know if it's anything to do with this, but Gorgon sightings are picking up again. Now seems like a good time for us to get started. We've all changed, remember? All the havoc those things caused and we couldn't stop them. But we're ready this time, aren't we? We've been fed to the flames, true, but it's made us become the fire. The shadows deepen. All monster groups will draw extra monster cards in every battle. Ooh, we need more people. We need more people. There's a recruit opportunity. Uh, we're going straight to the recruit opportunity. Let's go. A song for some day gone. Inspiration is hard to come by. Opportunity. Fortifications tier one. Defenses will hold off in currents and makes fighting. Okay, let's look at the opportunity. How long has it been? Sky and sun, cloud and crow. How long since it really felt, I've really felt inspired. Altara, why are you out here? Oh, you weren't supposed to find my note until morning. Here I thought I was being nice, letting you rest. Yeah, no, you are. I just wanted some time. I don't know what it is, really. Mind if I keep you company? Ah, uh, sure you can come. Okay, let me just get my travel things. Y you have any idea where we're off to? Truth, a place where truth wells up like water. Inspiration. In that case, isn't the bar a good place to start? <laughs> Dude. Ah. We're going. Who's stronger in this case? He's gonna last a lot longer, so let's go ahead and bring Doctor. I wanna see if I can't get the uh, plus 10 years on the other characters too. So what do you think of Illusia Dreamloom? Why doesn't it surprise me you wanted to come to a place called Elysium, Elysia Dreamloop? They say the brave who come here shall learn for themselves deepest truths. Well, one thing I've learned is to mistrust your vocation ideas. I'm trying to stay upbeat about this, but... The day dies, sun falls away, and in the night they build a fire. I don't know what I expected to find. I think I'm mostly looking for a filling. Is that really something you can search for? When whenever, remember whenever we were new to this, everything was new. Each path we took and every labor we put ourselves into, I'm bored. There's a fire here. We can make something exciting happen. What? 
Tell me of sorrow, this rose that kept, that you kept, by the bed in which lost your poor Ansel slept. That song. He woke full of laughter, and brightly he gazed, the, the curve of his mouth and kiss he appraised. He sang over the hills, peaks and shy, but sure dawn, and sure as the sunrise, I'll someday be gone, but recall me in love, and our joy may live on, and you do, and you do, and you do. The old love song is one she sung a hundred times by a fire, a hundred times with a friend, and still. Tonight it feels new. How strange. Song always broke my heart a little when we sang it together. I suppose we each thought of each other and thought it would be like to have gone on alone. A, no a noise rises in the darkness, not an echo of them, but a resonant call of something else. Did our voices wake the neighbors? Well, there's been some run-ins out here. Stick by the fire. Maybe it's nothing. If there, if we're being hunted, I say we turn the snare on our enemy. Okay, so um, her idea is only 26% chance. Like a one in four chance. And she's not... I'm starting to feel like she's not very lucky. And hi, Poindexter. How are you? Um... Dude, 26% is just not a good. That's not good. Um, We can't afford to lose someone right now. I'm going to go ahead and go the safe route. At the rim of the fire, a foe emerges. Stump and dart. It's the weekend you're happy? I'm happy too. I'm happy for you. So stump and dart. I, these are the first time I've gone against these enemies. Uh, we're staying next to the fire. We've got a dart here and a stump there. Blocked? That's crazy. Okay. Boom, two times damage. Using that dagger coming out of stealth, man. Had no armor. <laughs> Necklace of Attun Attunement. Potency point seven. Let's give it to uh, Doctor. He needs the potency. I don't know what it is about cheese. Cheese it's, but they hit the spot. Not sponsored. Dude, I love cheese it's. It's like a guilty pleasure. I actually gotta, like, purposely not buy them. Same here, nothing moving. Oh, to my eyes, it's all clear. Same here, nothing moving. Well, that was sudden. I didn't think your singing was that bad. <laughs> you know, I'm glad we came out here. But let's be on the road at dawn. Yeah? 
when you sang and when I sang with you, I considered the word I tend to think of all the time inspiration. It's like a well. This well inside you will always fill and empty. It's fine, but I want to live for the lasting things like love and old well-worn songs. In the morning, they will simply start home. Awesome. Okay, so... When standing by a fire, Maltara's ranged attacks have plus one damage, plus shred, and start fires. Fire can't spread onto her. Ooh. But then there's also the sharpshooter upgrade. I'm a sucker for sharpshooter. I'm just a sucker for it. All right, recruit opportunity. Let's get everyone on this. We got a new recruit. He's a romantic loner. And uh, let's develop. So it. So he's a bard. No, no, no. He's not a bard. He costs one less because we have a bard. Flipping sweet. The warband has reached Tallwell. I've been waiting my whole life for this opportunity. What's this game about? It's a storytelling game, like RPG. 